Hello, it's Jim from Tech Buzz, and we've got AirThings Wave Mini in to review next. Smart indoor and air quality monitor, so you can check your mold, your VOC, your temperature and humidity. And you've got some signs here on the side, which is good, fair and poor, so it'll give you an indication. You've got your app store for Android and iOS. So prevent mold growth with your home to minimize negative health impacts. Monitor humidity to prevent the spread of viruses, dust, mites and skin irritations. So that's really it. It's offering protection in the home. So you've got keep an eye on temperature to improve sleep and productivity. And monitor airborne chemicals, VOC, to keep your family healthy. So all in all, it's a product to monitor how good the air is and how good the quality is. So you've got allergies, overall health, sleep and asthma. So if any of them, you know, um, it's a good thing to have in the house. Uh, I actually have asthma, so it's uh, going to be kind of good for me. So let's take it out and have a look and see what it looks like. And we we'll get it set up and running, and we'll have a review later on. So you can recycle me. So getting the message across, recycling. And developed in Norway, home of fresh air, and you have a language booklet there with different languages inside. So in here, the, the distant bag, your instruction book, and we have got our mount. Right, so that's what it looks like there, small circular puck shape device, kind of similar to some other devices we've tested in the past. And that's really all there is to it. So this obviously is some kind of stand for it. Or can you leave it like that, I wonder? Nope. So we have to mount this somewhere anyway and then see what happens. And let's have a look in here in the booklet. So first of all, you're gonna to need to download the app, pull the battery tab, follow the app instructions to connect. Simply wave in front of the device to understand your overall air quality. You've got tips. Placement is key for understanding mold risk. Go to air things and look for an indication factor. And that is it. So there's batteries pre-installed by the looks of it. And yeah, we've three batteries inside. And that's what it looks like inside it there, just for those who are curious. And you've got Wave Mini Model 2920. So that's all there is to it there. And we'll just put that back on and the job is done. So we've got a green light there to say that it's activated now. So we'll be back with a review in a while. So stay tuned after the break for that. And we'll have more results and see what kind of information we can gather in a week or three and see what there is to find out if need be. So you've got Amazon Alexa there, Google, and you've got IFTTT. So that's really about it. And stay tuned for more after the break. Hello, it's Jim and Tech Buzz. We're back with the Wave Mini Review from Air Things, and this base is just a home to home for the likes of mold and airborne chemicals, humidity and temperature. So you can get a colour code here just by simply waving across to give you an indicator stats there of what your air quality is like. And there you go, the quality is clear. So we have it in the kitchen for the last couple of weeks. And that's what you get. So this is going to change colours during the day. Obviously, if you're doing cooking, stuff like that, it's going to change. And your humidity will change, your temperature will change, depending on where you are and what the weather's going to be like. All that kind of stuff does play a part in the reading outputs on this. So you get your air quality centres, which is for your visual indicator, which I've done there. You just simply wave across the front of it like so. And you get smart home integrations as well. If you want it, of course, it won't relax and that kind of stuff. You have an app, app dashboard in app notification as well, trying to get phone out of kilter. And basically, that's it. So just leave it there, and that it'll do its job for you. If there's any problems, you get a notification on your phone. So, this is what the app will look like here. So, you can see the layout there. In here is your pollen levels, your settings. So, if you go in here, You can see what it's like there. There's no problem at the moment with the pollen the time of year. You've got your settings, so in here is where you can check them out. Um, just go back here. Then your metric the United States, and that's what the app will look like there. If you want to add a device, 
um, you just simply press up here and you can add the voice and then you've got your location services there so you can see there now that it's syncing up once more it's already syncing up every day and that will just give you a refreshed readout of what's going on so i want to try and go into it here so the last reading there we got this morning you can see we 64 percent midi 20 temp and the voc is 110 ppb so you'll scroll across here like so and you get that there you get your mold and that's pretty much what you're getting there or you can tap through the little tabs up top here like so and it'll give you a read out there on the bottom so that's pretty much it there and you've also got your other settings in here so your notifications will come in here so we have them all on you've got your thresholds and setting there your device settings in here so you can just check all that out as well and then if you go back into the dashboard on the bottom you get a full readout across like so as you can see there what's happening along the time and you can check in here your calendar shortcuts there and this is the current readout status there so that's pretty much what it looks like here so seven was here last synced 14 hours ago which I only synced it there before it turned it on so I'm just going to go back it's still syncing there it normally takes a couple of seconds to sync up so I'm just going to leave it sit there now and let you see what it looks like and what to expect but that's what you're going to get on the chart anyway on the phone on the apps you can get the app on android and ios and that's pretty much it so it's a good setup and um, it's a good thing you just leave it there let it do its job so, so nothing that you have to monitor yourself it's like a couple of other things we've going on here at the moment that we're reviewing and um, we've humidifiers we have purifiers here as well same thing you leave it there you get warnings indicators on the product itself and so on so if we go in here now we can go into the dashboard once more and this is what you're going to get there so that's what it looks like so you scroll down here and get the rest of the information that you might require you can see here we've been testing it by leaving doors open and shutting them and you can see the variations in temperature there other than that's been pretty static across the past couple of days and that's pretty much it so that's it for now but the mold level is good this is basically a good thing for watching mold which is something you want in your house and that's what this does it stops that from happening by letting you know before it happens and as they say it's too late when you get the notification once you see it it's too late so that will basically stop all that and give you a heads up if there's no detecting and so on not forgetting the VOC, humidity temperature and all that kind of stuff as well so that's it thanks for watching see you in the next video